Hello, everybody. This is Par for the Discourse. It is June 20th, 2021. I am Erica, coming to you from Brooklyn, New York City. This is Nicole, coming to you from Madrid, España. Hi. AKA Hola. <laughs> How's it going? It is Father's Day here in the United States. Happy Father's Day, Mom. I'll second that. <laughs> That's our yearly tradition has been for quite a while. Yes. Um, it's also the summer solstice tonight. I'm just putting a positive spin on it. We are entering uh, the longest day of the year. I don't know if that's good news or bad news, but hey, if you have a good day, you might not want it to end. Well, I'm going to a wedding this afternoon. So what a great way to celebrate uh, the, the, uh, the beginning of summer. Now, this is in Brooklyn, the wedding, no, or you're, or, yeah. Yes, I was gonna grab the book off the shelf. Um, this is this couple that's getting married uh, the guy, him and his brother are fitness gurus and they, um, they are trainers and they have a whole like kind of, uh, urban calisthenics program that they, um, wrote one of their books on and, uh, my photographs are in the book. I can, I was trying to think of how I, how we actually met them. The first time we met them, I think it might've been at the Coney Island beard competition. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's how we met them. And uh, Ronnie became friends with them. And I, I took them around Bushwick and shot them in front of murals and graffiti. Um, so one of the brothers is getting married. Uh, Danny and Al Cavadlo are their names. Mm -hmm. And uh, Danny is getting married to Annie, Danny and Annie today. So um, I'm excited to go to a wedding. But, um, you know, as you and I talked about, as everything is getting back to normal, I, um, I'm having a lot of anxiety when it comes to whatever that normal is. We, we tried to go into the city on Friday. And uh, it just was it was really difficult to just try to um, get back to whatever like a normal Friday night would be because um, it, it wasn't. Well, I think, I think you just, uh, get up, get dressed, put yourself out there and you're gonna enjoy the day. That's it. I mean, you just gotta put yourself out there. I mean, it, yeah, trying to get back to doing all this like normal stuff, whatever that means. Um, yeah, we're also in that rut where we're like, we're totally fine and used to just sitting around and, you know, <laughs> it's like, oh wait, I have to make an effort here. You told me like, I'll just pull your hair back and put a black dress on. I don't know how I'm gonna get dressed up for a wedding right now. I've been in, you know, pajamas for a year. So uh, I, I gotta go through the closet and uh, figure out what I'm gonna wear. Um, I, I like was, that summer story though. With that beard contest, I totally forgot about that. What month is that usually in? Is that in July? Uh, no, it usually is at the end of summer, uh, usually like uh, the first or second week of September. Okay. Are you, is that happening this year or no? Should be. I don't know because everything Coney Island got canceled last year. The mermaid parade isn't happening until September. I, I just saw an announcement that they are going to do it, but it's not until September. So I don't know if they'll do a beard competition this year. Uh, Ronnie started as a contestant. Mm -hmm. uh, well, we, no, no, we went one year at, just to go. Uh, this is, gosh, this is like 10 years ago, probably now. Yeah. And then Ronnie said, a year from now, I'm going to just let my beard grow and I'm going to enter the contest. And it was just like a, a funny thing. So we went back the next year and Ronnie participated. Then he was asked to be a judge. Yes, um, I remember that. I, I, he was a co-host uh, one year. And then he was a, got asked to host 
up in Binghamton, uh, their first annual beard competition oh, in Binghamton. I about that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ronnie's yeah. like, become yeah. a, a, a beard personality. He had a sponsor with Royal Beard Club. He's their, um, one of their sponsors. Love that. So, yeah, and then that's how we met the couple uh, that I, I photographed this book and we're gonna uh, go to this wedding. And that's how we met them through the beard competition. So there'll probably be some um, circus Coney Island freak show people there today. I, can I would just say that I wish I could be your guest for this thing because, yeah, I think I, I would- You know, it. I remember because the whole beard competition, a part of my Coney Island life happened after you moved to Spain. And yeah. I kept the up of going out there and and there were you know different things that were going on and and so the that was one of them and also the coney art walls is something that you didn't get to see uh there's this whole area with these uh um murals i mean it's fabricated near the aquarium it's near the aquarium on the other side okay by the uh the the drop thing you know the yes Paris, yeah. Paris drop and there's a carousel. Oh, and then there's the uh, minor league baseball team is yeah. out there. Yeah. I'm telling you, I, I have great nostalgia for those days. I, I really do. We had a lot of fun, you and I. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So participating in the in the beard competition was totally keeping the tradition of participating in Coney Island up. So uh, that was fun. So yeah, yeah. Today will be a little bit of a Coney Island. Uh, day. But going back, because you just said something, I, I, I don't know if I'm quoting it right. You said something about like urban calisthenics. Is that what you said? Yeah. Uh, okay, that, can you tell me I'm what like, that means? I'm going to get the book. Where is it? I that mean it. like doing sit-ups in a subway? Like what, is it? <laughs> what do you mean by that? Yeah. Not in the subway. Like, you know, the parks. Like, like all of those, you know, basically just using um, anything out, you know, basically you don't have to pay for some big expensive gym and- Okay, okay. You know, you can- Being resourceful of the city as you exercise. Now I have dog-eared all of my photos. Um, oh. So here, here they are. Oh, wow, okay. That's one of my photos. <laughs> Wait, hold on. This is funny. Oh, look what else I had in there. Look. Oh, cool. This is yes. from this is from uh, Spain. Yeah, I, I, was, or, I mean Rome when we went I was to the, say, that's in the, the event we went to. Yeah, yeah. I don't know why that's in here, but so yeah. I mean, <laughs> the whole book is is like them. Nice. <laughs> there's there's a picture of, of the two of them. This okay. one here, this is the guy getting married today. All right. So yes. So you, so you still keep in touch with this these people? We, oh, yes, yes. The ultimate 16 week transformation program for gaining muscle and strength using, using the power of progressive calisthenics. I'm, but the, the, the whole thing is they're from Brooklyn and they, you know, you can go anywhere and, and use your environment and not have to like, you know, have, lift weights and, and. Love that message actually. Yeah. Um, um, and and the, his fiance is also a fitness trainer. She's, she's awesome. Um, so and she just be surrounded by she finished her master's degree too. She's. You're going to be surrounded by diesel people, probably. Is that like another? Is that like a bad point? You're like, you're like flexing before you leave. You're like, do I? <laughs> when I was like peak Bikram, uh, you know, yeah. when I was peak Bikram. I felt more comfortable around them. Like, I, I'm a yeah. little, little, little soft. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, well, hey. Oh uh, well. Uh, okay, so 
another thing that happened this week, uh, staying on the positive uh, spin, I was asked to uh, be interviewed for a podcast, this art, art fair. It's an international art fair. It's called Superfine. Uh, and they do these fairs all over. <laughs> And uh, it was an art business plan is the name of it. It's like the art business plan by Superfine. And uh, I talked about my role as uh, the editor of Sold Magazine and how I got involved. And I talked about my childhood with photography and dance and like how I got to where I am now and how I support artists and how it's important. Mm -hmm. um, work that we do documenting street art. It was it was fun to, you know, of course, afterwards, it's like, oh, I wish I said this. I wish I said this, you know, I like, um, but whatever. What, now, when is that going to be went really quickly? It was only half an hour. And then they like, it was super professional. Like he said, I'll pause when um, like, they'll go and dub in commercials. Oh, okay. Um, so he what like would say cut or whatever, and he said just be quiet, and and then we'll pick it back up. And I was like okay, um, not on video, so it was just audio, which was oh, okay. I didn't have to be camera ready. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now when is that going to be available for us to see? You know, he didn't tell me when, but um, I did know somebody that was recording, and then it went up like two weeks later or something. Yeah, so. Perfect. I think he's doing them in turn, you know, I would say like a week or two, probably. I'll, I'll send you the link when it, yeah. when it goes up. And I had to choose a photo of myself to send them um, for the, for their Instagram and to publish it. And I was looking through all these photos of other people and they were like these really professional photos. And I sent a photo of me podcasting at a, at an art fair. And, I think uh, I know that picture because you said yeah. to me. I like that picture. Who cares? Yeah, I didn't, I didn't, I don't have like some super professional, you know, photo. If I should have a photo taken of me in front of my my bookcase or something. No, that I know um, the picture you're talking about. That's nice. So yeah, get I uh, get strong. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I can't wait uh, to hear how that this event goes down. Yeah, yeah, it'll be it'll be fun. Hopefully, there'll be a sword so swallower. You know what I mean? Do you know a lot of people that are going? We can only, we can only hope. I, I'm not sure, like how many of the like uh, beard competitors. I mean, that's how we know them. Um, I mean, his brother and his brother's wife will be there, and I know them, so mm -hmm. I'll I'll know a few people at least. All right. Um, I was going to show you a plant. You want to see a plant? Yeah. So I told you around Valentine's Day, I remember showing like three plants and one of them was a heart shaped uh, Hoya that's just mm -hmm. like a cutting. And I said, it's like very, very gimmicky that um, they sell them just these like one leaf cuttings because they look like a little heart and they're cheap and, and they just like, they're, they're like a very gift, giftable plant. And people usually have them and nine times out of 10, they end up dying. They don't mature. So mine, where is it? You got the real deal. I got the real deal. I looked at it the other day and I had showed you guys like in February, it was just by itself. And look at wow, what's look at that. Now, I showed you this like a week ago and it was just like the little thing poking out, but I'm already getting look at the heart shape leaf. I know that really that has more definition almost than that one. Yeah. So this will keep growing. I I'm just so excited because this means it's gonna actually turn into a, like a, a real plant. And it means you've got the proper sunlight going on there. You've got everything, the conditions are it means all I'm doing Right, I'm doing something right, and that yep. and that feels good. So hey, that, and if anything's going to prosper, it should be the love plant, right? 
We don't want weed, right. dead weeds. Yes. And so then my other plant that I loved so much is this polka dotted um, begonia. Oh, and I love that. I, well, so then I've gotten the, a, a bigger one, but the original one was a cutting. And when I brought it home, it was like these couple little leaves and, but there were these barks, like they had cut it to make all the propagations. Mm -hmm. Still had this plant and I, something told me like, I'm gonna buy this one because it's gonna grow more mature plants as opposed to buying the cuttings. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So it immediately started growing and hold on. This is exciting. So I had, oh my gosh. So it started out like this. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Damn. But this is the most, like, like it's, it's growing so much, but this week, Oh, you got flowering. It started flowering. It started flowering. I didn't notice that. Okay. Can you see it? Now I see it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and on the top, wait, so that's in the middle. Oh my gosh, it's so big. So on the top, there also is another little flower too. All right, I'm putting this one back. Okay. You're doing something right over there. I'm doing something right. Here in Brooklyn, uh, I'm 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 growing plants, <laughs> and that's the update. Okay. I, I'm I'm hating people and loving my dog and plants. Right, Domi. Well, I've i my uh, situation here is I'm being pressured into getting a pet, which. I'm not against animals. It has nothing to do with that. I'm turning into like everybody's mother now. No, I don't. We're not getting an animal because X, Y, and Z. Okay. So now I think Violet does over the fact that there's absolutely no way I'm getting a dog or anything like that. So she's now downgraded to a hamster, which they're rodents. I mean, let's face it. They're rodents. They smell. Yeah. What are we gonna get something to watch it run on a wheel? I mean, but anyway, I do give the kid credit because I, she started asking and asking. I'm like, I don't want that rodent in my house. I don't want that. And I'm, I'm telling you right now, if that thing turns up dead, you can blame me. It probably will be my fault that that thing turns up dead. You really, really remind me of my mom because she would say, <laughs> you can't get a dog, you don't have enough room. And we went to, okay, well, we want a hamster. Everybody's story. I had to story. Yeah, too. and I don't, I don't know what happened, but we ended up buying the hamster that was pregnant from the <laughs> pet shop. Oh, so like all of a sudden there were all these little pink things in the corner. <laughs> and we had that like real life lessons with that hamster. And then we, my mom brought all the hamsters back to the pet store. They, they was, took it back. She was so upset. Like the whole thing made her so mad. She didn't want the, she was like you, like she didn't want any animals. She just didn't, yeah. didn't she didn't think we were going to be responsible is what it came down to. Um, it's also and, about going away too. We go away places. I mean, yeah. That was her. That was another good excuse, Nicole, that she always told us. Yeah. Well, um, we also tried hermit crabs. That was something that That's okay because they don't do anything. They don't smell. <laughs> we went to they like the move. shore. I think we went to like the Jersey Shore one summer and brought home hermit crabs. And like my mom was like okay with that for a while. Yeah, like I'm okay with an iguana because it doesn't move. Like something like that. But how about fish? What I think is funny is that okay, she came in yesterday and delivered this to me. Okay. I'm not going to read it all, but the fact that it's so huge. I'll, it says, why it's like we, her talking points? Why we want a hamster. Pros, cons. Now, oh. I have to give her credit because number one, the whole thing is written in English. She never writes in English. Even though we speak in English, she writes much better in Spanish and it's easier to spell. She wrote this whole thing out in English. Why do you think she did that? probably to appeal to me. 
wait, wait till I tell you what the number one pro, the first thing she put for pro, and this almost makes me want to buy her one because I think it shows a lot of like, you're clever. You're clever with this. Like you're yeah. totally thinking of my brain when you wrote this, like you're not first pro. You know what? She's, she's going to be a good lawyer. <laughs> first number one pro. <laughs> you might want to drink before. They only live two to three years. <laughs> so it's like, let's start with the, let's start with the basics. It will be dead soon. <laughs> you know what I mean? Come on. I thought that was pretty funny. Yeah, she knows her audience. Um, and then like there's a, at the bottom, I thought this was funny too. At the bottom, there's a heart and a star and it says, you don't have to be involved. You don't have to come close or pet it if you don't want to. If you don't want to. <laughs> I, well, so what are the cons? Like, give me a, give me a good, like, okay, I know this will be annoying. Well, it's kind of weird. It's like cons, they poop. But Alex and me will do the work and clean, but not you, exclamation point. Their cage is messy. However, we will clean it. You have to take it to the vet once a year and then in parentheses this is actually a pro <laughs> i'll do anything i mean it goes on and on and then on the back you flip it over and there's a giant like please please names oh. we'd like willow pancake henry nugget Daisy, Sandy, Snickers, Cotton, Dribble, and Peanut. You're like, listen, names has nothing to do with it, okay? I don't care if you want to call this thing like Mother Teresa. I don't want it. That has nothing to do with it. <laughs> uh, I do remember, though, we got the hamster ball, you know? And oh, yeah. And then the he's just running around the house in the ball. That was fun. <laughs> oh, God, you just, I didn't even think of that. I hope they don't try to get me to get one of those. Cause I don't want to, yeah, I don't know what to do. I, I don't really want it. They're, listen, it, hamsters are very, I'm, you know, it, they're going to love it. And it's, it's very low, um, low maintenance. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, she's right. It's going to live two or three years. I think that's funny though. That was I the number one pro. She's playing to her audience. <laughs> she knows, she knows. They don't take a lot of space. She puts the price of the cage. I'm telling you, she goes through, this is, this took a lot of work. <laughs> I think she deserves a hamster. But I said, hey, listen, let me think about it. I didn't say no, actually, because when I saw that, I said, I'll think about it. They're cute. Oh, wait, what was the other thing she said? Oh, oh they're soft, little, and snuggly. Wait a second. You say snuggly, that means you're taking it out and cuddling with it. No, it's not happening. Yeah, that's, yeah, they really are, are little rodents. Don't you, you know, think they're, they're gross they're, or do you like them? I don't like them. No, I, I mean, as a pet, I, I, you know, I think we just really wanted a dog and my mom kept saying no. So it was that's like, good. right, you know, but yeah, no, I, I mean, I think we would maybe play with it a little bit, but I didn't really like holding it or anything. Come on. So I what happened? Like, did it die eventually or, or you got rid of it or what happened? Yeah, I think um, it definitely lived for, gosh, I don't remember like how it died. Um, we had it for a while. Uh, my sister got into like, like we'd have a cage or whatever and then you buy these like they got a little see I could see Violetta getting into this like tubes that go into different rooms yep. and set up this whole thing and my sister really got into that and like that kind of got annoying to be honest but I've already thought of that I'm like they're gonna want those mazes and like yeah crap. yeah yeah and then then that's like a whole thing and I think at some point it got I must have got old enough that I was over it um, I'm four years older than my sister. I think she, it was more her kind of thing. We eventually got a cat. Well, we had, I mean, I had a cat when I was a kid, but it, you know, eventually it died. It, 
And we had it a long time, 15 years or so. But that thing got buried alive by the blizzard of 95. I remember that story. And we had a cockatiel that, that gave itself a heart attack and died right in front of me. You know, I really do not know how that hamster died. I think your it mom killed been... it. I think yeah. your mom killed it. <laughs> That's what I think. It's possible. She was like, oh. Oh, that doesn't hamster... drink bleach? I didn't know that. <laughs> the hamster ball, like, go down the stairs? <laughs> what happened? Yeah. Oh. I left. I left the basement stair door open. You, you know? don't clean the water bowl with bleach? I didn't really. <laughs> yeah, I, re I do remember the, all, all the little, um, the babies in the corner and we woke up and we were like, what is that? Oh my God, that would sicken me actually. That I, I think we bought the wrong, we bought like the pregnant or, or, or the shopkeeper didn't know that that hamster was pregnant but it was like we hadn't had it that long and then all of a sudden there were these babies how did we not know it was pregnant or we just thought it was a really big Fat. hamster i don't know yeah. yeah well all right good childhood memories <laughs> there you go so i'll keep you updated whether or not we buy this thing cool all right i gotta get ready for this wedding okay have fun and uh we would like to hear updates about this next week yeah, hot girl summer. All right, have fun. Bye. Bye.